Kisha katika masomo yetu ya jifunze Kiingereza kwa Kiswahili na mimi mwalimu wako mwalimu Rafael wa Kiingereza. Kumbuka masomo yetu huwa tunayanuku kutoka kitabu hiki cha jifunze Kiingereza kwa Kiswahili. Ukitaka kupata masomo haya kwa undani na mengi zaidi tafuta kitabu hiki. Jinsi ya kukipata utapata maelekezo hapo chini. Lakini kumbuka huwa tuna madarasa ya WhatsApp ya moja kwa moja mimi na mwalimu mnakuwa unajadiliana na mimi na kusaidia kupitia WhatsApp pia kwa jinsi gani ujiunge na madarasa yetu e, maelekezo yako hapo chini hakikisha unapata kitabu hiki lakini pia hakikisha una subscribe katika channel yangu ili pindi tutue kapo video mpya unapata e, taarifa matumizi ya maneno haya matatu kuna neno has kuna neno have na kuna neno had e, wengine wanasoma has have na had sasa Haya maneno hutumika kuonyesha eh, yana ya na matumizi eh, mawili tofauti kuna ile kumiliki yanaonyesha kumiliki lakini leo hatujifunzi jinsi ya yanavyotumika kumiliki leo tunajifunza jinsi ya kuonyesha eh, tendo timilifu yani kwa Kiingereza tunasema eh, kuitumia perfect tense kwa kutumia has have na had kwa hivyo Wakati timilifu huonyeshwa e, kwa jinsi gani kwa Kiswahili? Wakati timilifu tu, huwa tunautambua pale tunaposikia e, me au li na me mfano. Ukisema nimeenda, tumekula, wamecheza, ameingia. Hiyo me inaonyesha ni wakati timilifu. Sasa kwa Kiingereza hiyo e, me wakati huo timilifu tunaita perfect tense. Na kitendo ambacho kina me mbele yake huwa tunakiita past participle. Kwa mfano neno it ni kula lakini eaten ina me mbele yake ina maana ni mekula. Kwa hivyo ndio maana tunaita eaten. Kwa hivyo past participle ni lile umbo ambalo e, lina me kwa mbele. Sasa tuangalie e, kwa, ukisikia has na have has na have kwa Kiswahili hizo has na have zinaitwa me na ukisikia e, na hapa tumetoa mfano mfano nimekula tumecheza wameimba amekimbia hiyo me ndio inaitwa has au have ukisikia neno had kwa Kiswahili inaitwa li na me mfano alikuwa ameenda tulikuwa tumekula walikuwa wamekimbia nilikuwa nimecheza hiyo ndio inaitwa li na me kwa Kiswahili had kwa hivyo huwa zinatumika kuonyesha e, hali timilifu Sasa tuojue ni kina nani huwa wanatumia has, have na had. E, tukija hapa tumegawanya watendaji au nafsi tatu. Tuna nafsi ya he, she na it. He, she na it. He, she na it. Tunapotaka kusema kwamba wamefanya jambo. Huwa tunatumia has. Alafu tunaweka umbo ambalo ni timilifu ambalo tumesema ni past participle. Kwa hivyo has hutumika na nani na he, she na it. Mfano, she has eaten. She has eaten. Ambayo kwa kiswahili tunasema ame kula. He has ndiyo he me. He eaten ndiyo tumesema pia ina me kwa kwa kwa, 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 kwa mbele yake ndiyo maana tumesema a amekula. Kwa hivyo has eaten ni mekula. Kwa hivyo tunaposema he has eaten, she has eaten, it has eaten zote zinatumia has. Um, kwa hivyo mfano tungetaka kusema Hiu ni she has eaten ni yeye wa kike amekula. Ingekuwa wa kiume tungesema he has eaten ambayo bado ni yeye amekula. Kingekuwa ni kitu au mnyama tungesema it has eaten. Na hii hatuisomi it tunasoma it. It has eaten tungesema kimekula kama ni mnyama amekula kama ni kitu kimekula. Sasa tumemaliza wale wanaotumia has tuangalie wanaotumia have. Have hutumika na nafsi nne. Kuna nafsi ya I ambayo ni mimi, kuna nafsi ya we ambayo ni sisi, you ambayo ni wewe au nyinyi, zote mbili zinawakilishwa na you. Lakini pia tuna nafsi ya they. They ni wao au hivyo vitu au wanyama. Kwa hivyo tunapotumia I, we, you na they, wao tunapotaka kuwawekea ile me. Ile me yao inaitwa have. Kwa hivyo tutasema I have, we have, you have they have kwa mfano tunataka kusema tumekula tunasema we have eaten we have eaten em tukitaka kusema nimekula ambayo ni i unasema i have eaten unataka kusema tumekula ndio hiyo tumesema we have eaten kama unataka kusema wewe umekula unasema you have eaten na nyinyi mmekula bado unasema you have eaten tuje kwenye they 
Wakitaka kusema wao wamekula, unasema they have eaten kama ni wanyama au ni watu. Kama ni vitu vimekula, unasema os pia unasema they have eaten. Sasa kumbuka jinsi ya wapi utumie eaten wapi utumie eat utaikuta katika tenses katika clip zangu katika channel yangu. Kuna video za kutosha tu ya jinsi ya kutumia e, vitendo tofauti tofauti. Sasa tumeshajifunza matumizi ya has na have, hebu sasa tuone had inatumikaje. E, tunaposikia had, had ni wakati uliopita wa has na have. Kwa hivyo had kwa Kiswahili tunaitambua kwa kusikia li na me mfano tulikuwa tumeenda walikuwa wamecheza nilikuwa nimekimbia walikuwa wameimba hiyo li na me ndio inaitwa had sasa had huwa inatumika na nafsi zote kwa hivyo inatumika na he inatumika na she inatumika na it inatumika na i inatumika na we inatumika na you na inatumika na they kwa hivyo ukisema he had unamaanisha yeye alikuwa ame she had yeye alikuwa ame wakike it had hicho kilikuwa kime i had mimi nilikuwa nime we had sisi tulikuwa tume you had wewe ulikuwa ume au nyinyi mlikuwa mme they had wao walikuwa wame au kama ni vitu hivyo vilikuwa vime kwa hivyo hii had inatumika na nafsi hizi zote sasa hebu tutoe mfano hapa tumeandika they had eaten they had eaten walikuwa wamekula ingekuwa ni sisi tungesema we had eaten tulikuwa tumekula you had eaten ulikuwa umekula eh, i had eaten nilikuwa nimekula kwa hivyo tunaposikia maneno has have na had tujue kwamba hayo ndiyo matumizi yake huwa yanatumika kuonyesha eh, eh, perfect tense ambayo tunaita wakati timilifu na has na have inatumika kuonyesha present perfect tense au wakati uliopo timilifu had inatumika kuonyesha wakati uliopita timilifu ambao tunaita past perfect tense ukitaka kujua zaidi tafuta video ambazo zina majina hayo ya past perfect tense na present perfect tense hadi e, e, somo lijalo ni mimi mwalimu wako mwalimu Rafael wa Kiingereza usisahau kusubscribe na pia usahau ku like na kushare kama E, bado hujapata kitabu hakikisha unapata kitabu maelekezo yako hapo kama unataka kujiunga na madarasa ya WhatsApp maelekezo pia yako hapo tukutane kipindi kijacho